And what little subsect, what group of people is driving you nuts? Like I mentioned earlier that I, I'm a Trekkie. I'm a sci-fi guy. That turns some people off. I mean, I don't wear the costumes. I think I just the problem like the with anything is if you if you try and make people like your hobby, you want to turn or people on because you're yes. excited about something that you like. You know, we all everybody's world is kind of small if you think about it. We all kind of have things that we love in our world, but you and we love, want to share it with other people. But you love like like Kiss and Star Trek. You know, you go deep into that world. I don't jam it down people's throats. But like bourbons, I know bourbons, but not as well as like. There's other people that go way deep. Like I'm. I'm in it, but I'm not like a submarine. Yeah. I feel there. like you're what super invested in that. Like those people, like, they know <laughs> everything. Totally they, submerged they, they into know, it. Like, yeah, they know every nuance. And I'm almost like, you, do you do anything else but that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. 713-390-KRBE. We're going to start it off line one and go down from there. Melissa's up first. Hello. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Am I saying your name right? Because it's spelled M-Y-L-I-S-A. <laughs> Yeah, it's my Lisa. My Lisa. My Lisa. I like that. Yeah. My Lisa. Don't okay. you hate yeah, that everybody really just weird. assumes it's <laughs> Melissa? Okay, sorry. So are these oh, people the that time. grind your gears? People that say your name wrong? People that say her name <laughs> Melissa? You no, know, that's how Melissa. I respond. If you call me Melissa, I learn, like, yeah, that's me, because I'm, like, too shy to, like, say. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, speak your mind. It's like Eric <laughs> letting everyone call him Eric Rowe when it's really Row. We I, understand. I get, Go ahead. Give up. Go ahead. What do you got? Um, my Lisa. So the people, when the plane lands and... The stewardess has not said to get up yet, and the people like get up real fast and start like going down the aisle real fast and grabbing going their down. Yes. And go down. Yes. Oh, yes. My God. These people, they're the traffic jammers. Oh, they are God. the worst. I'll be loud and be like, "Excuse me, like it's not your turn." I will cut in front of you and put my arm out, and you need to wait your turn. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I I don't understand. I mean, unless you're trying to make the connection, which then you know they always ask if you guys are not connecting, please stay in your seat so the connectors can make it. You know, there are a bunch of blank holes selfish. that are still getting yes. off the plane, even though they're just going home. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the like, worst people, you. the worst people are the ones when they get on the plane mm-hmm. and they got the crap seat in the back and they decide that they're going to put their luggage right up front yeah. so when you try and get in your seat somebody's already taken your luggage space well you're just i didn't even know you could do that oh they I do not understand they that. do it i, I didn't know do that. That. but yes my lisa bravo to you for bringing them up mm-hmm. and for those of you listening if that's you just cool your and you know boobs. the worst part of that rule is yeah, when calm direction. your boobs you're sitting in your seat <laughs> and they go up there and they get stopped so to your right is their butt yeah it's just Stuck there, that, that butt that's been sitting there for hours. Oh, yeah. yeah Swamp yep, butt yep, over yep, there yep. is sitting right next to your face. Ew, Eric. When you paint it like that. It's gross. Well, it doesn't smell good. Okay. Stay in your well, area, who's people. Uh, you have no choice when you jammed in your face. 713 390 KRVE. We're talking about groups of people that drive you bonkers. My Lisa brought up the people who race to the front of the plane, even though there's nowhere to go. Juan, who is it that grinds your gears? Good morning. Juan? Juan, can you hear us? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> All right, he said. He said bikers. Oh, he like, said it's on like, like on motorcyclists, three. like um, no, like people that ride their bikes. I think I'm bike- he's on three. Bicycles. On three. On three. Yeah, he's on yeah. three. Yeah. Oopsie. Hey, Juan. Hi, Juan. Hi. Good morning. Hey. So, Hi. bicyclists are the ones that drive you nuts. Why is that? Or is it bikers? Yes, bicyclists, the ones that oh, ride their okay. bike on the road. They have trails for you to ride on. They have parks, and they have bicycle lanes. Why do you have to get in the car lane? Well, you have to take that to get to the park. My thing is when they go back and forth on the sidewalk. On the, I no, hate you ha- the sidewalk. They're like weaving. you gotta, you got to pick one or the other. And it's, it's called it's a sidewalk, sidewalk. Not, a, not a side bike. Well, then you're okay, but wait, then, then now where you're are you going to go? get in the street. Telling the bikes yeah, to get in the street. Yeah, you're then. telling them to get in the street then. So they you're have to be in the street, yourself. though. I get it with little kids and they're learning how to well, ride their on bike the on the sidewalk. I get that as a parent. Little kids, that's fine. But when I see an adult and he's riding on the sidewalk and I'm walking with my AirPods but on. But wait, you're contradicting what Juan is saying. Juan can't up. stand them in the street. But one, they got to be on the street. They have to be. Juan, they have to be on the street. That's the law. No, they have bicycle lanes. That's oh, the thing. Yeah, some, some, some really do. Like bicycle lanes. Yeah. Houston, Texas, though, we don't really down. have a lot of lanes except for not downtown. Not everywhere, but I've yeah. seen I've seen there bicycle lanes, yes, for downtown. sure, in downtown. some areas. Yes. You're not seeing them on the freeways. Um, you know, Juan, you got to be careful, because if you were Nobody on the Rule and Ryan show, you, you know what happened? Eric said this years ago about <laughs> cyclists, and then they brought in a stationary bike with the gear, and he had to ride the stationary bike the Whole entire show. Because Eric was saying, God, why are people riding bikes? It's not even an exercise. It's not a sport. Out of my way in my in my car. Yeah, that's a, a Tour but de France people. That is a sport. That thing is that is tough. I hope you were sore. 
Oh, I was. All right, Juan. So I, I had we hear you. Thanks oh, yeah. for listening to the show. We appreciate you. Seven one three three nine zero K R B E. I need to clarify what Adam thinks. What what group of Adam doesn't like? Do you see line seven is Adam Sam? Yes. Okay, Adam. Hi, welcome to the show. What is the group that grinds your gears? Explain, please. Hello, Hello. good morning. One hundred four. Good morning. So, good morning. hello. My thing is, I want to say it's drivers. I want to okay. say they're not. Texas or Houston drivers, but people don't understand what right away means. Like the they laws of the road. Got it. Got it. The right away. The laws of the road. Yeah. Like, okay, <laughs> can I give an example? Is this what you're talking about? Like, if there's an esplanade with a break in it and you're trying to make a U turn or turn left, those people don't know which side they're supposed to go to to wait to make the turn. Is that what you mean? Okay. That too, but my my general issue is like, say for example, you're in, in your neighborhood driving, and you know there's a car parked, you know, on the side of the road. Oh yeah. And mm-hmm. you're coming, and there's no car on your side; it's on the left side. So mm-hmm. there's a car coming on the opposite side. They have to technically stop. Yeah, because yeah. they're merging in your lane. Right, right, right. Yeah. The right of way. But you it, don't know the right of yeah. way. That's what makes you crazy. I when think they I, don't know the right of way. I Got feel it. like no one, yeah. you don't really take a test ever again. Once you do it when you're 16, you almost mm-hmm. need to. You just, just to keep, refresh. You go there and get your new license and a photo. You don't. Uh, yeah, they don't, don't. They don't keep you up with the skills. Don't worry. I do defensive driving at least every four years. <laughs> yeah, to lower your rates. But he's so. <laughs> and you right remember to, it? People Ticket. do not understand. Okay, they also don't understand my neighborhood. This is a real problem. We have crossing guards, like the, you know, the where you're protected as a pedestrian to cross the street right there. And these jackasses just go flailing right through it. They don't even, like, slow down for you. And that's the law. You're supposed to stop for those things. Yeah. Adam, we hear you on that. We're, we thank you for your call. Tiara is next. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan show. We're asking, what is a group that just grinds your gears, drives you crazy? Whether they like technology too much or what is it, Tiara, that you want to complain about today? <laughs> I don't mean, well, first of all, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But I hate to be this person, but in the morning, I work at the mall. I feel like you're already setting it up. Okay, go ahead. I know where this is going. I'm sorry. Go ahead, girl. Okay, you work at the mall. Okay. It's the, yes, it's the old people that go in there and work out, and they're, like, running Mm -hmm. marathons and walking marathons, and I'm just trying to beeline and get to work, and I feel like I'm getting cut off by, like, (laughs) You don't, like the old the old walk- uh, you don't like the old people walking in the mall. They got those suits on, too. It's because yeah, it's the geriatric exercisers. There's steps. It's free. I mean, there's a I mean, lot of benefits. I mean, it's free. It's air-conditioned. It's safe. It smells I good. I can see why they like to go and to the also, mall and get their what? steps in. The, a lot of times, yeah, like, older people yeah, are alone totally all the time. Agree. It's cold in there. It's nice. But there's so many in there. And I feel like I'm trying to just stick to work and clock in. And... They're cutting me off. Like, like I'm the slow poke. <laughs> it's so now, many, can we, it's too many old you know, we don't know where you work specifically, like old what people. store, but I'd like to know what mall is so overrun with so many yeah, of our elders it? in these outfits. Uh, the, the Woodlands. Well, then okay. The All right, right, got it. I've been the one so you're having a hard ones. time getting to your actual retail place because you're dodging the marathoners in the mall. Cut them a little slack, though, because uh, they don't have people, you know, especially when they're really elderly. They don't have people. Maybe, no, I'm just saying a they lot have of more times. more friends than probably we have. A friends. lot of times they're very lonely, <laughs> and this is a way for them to actually be out amongst other people and get some Ryan exercise. Ryan is defending himself. Yeah, Ryan's like, he goes to the I'm not doing it. I'm not elderly. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan, we didn't know we offended you and your friends. <laughs> he does do his walk every afternoon. <laughs> yep. I don't Maybe go to the mall. And I'm not Tiara, wearing a tracksuit. Thank suit. you so much for bringing that up. I predict Ryan's three funny. years away from going to the mall and doing I am being a mall walker. I'm not going to do that. You're going to be like, yeah, you're gonna be like, yeah this you got to have your headphones in, too, so nobody can see. Because you love Andy Ann's yeah. pretzels. You'll be like, whoosh, doing mm-hmm. laughs. If I again. do that, then that's going to completely defeat the purpose of me doing my No, run. they cancel each other out. Yeah, you'll be even Steven. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. You do the walk and you do the pretzels. Let me go to Madison. Yes. She's the last caller we're going to get to because we're going to run out of time. But, Madison, tell us what group grinds your gears. Good morning. Good morning, and it's Hello. Disney adults. Yeah. Yes. Disney adults. Now, why Disney is that so bad? Why are you trying to take away their joy? What creepy. was that? Why, why, why do you why hate that? Why are you trying to take, take, take away their joy? Just, like, I, it's not even like a joy aspect. I get there's things that make you happy. My husband is a huge Star Wars fan, but he doesn't go to the extent that, like, Disney adults do. Disney adults will make it, like, their whole life. And I'm like, that is great for you, but we get that you have childhood trauma and you're trying to recover from that. Like, <laughs> Are you talking about people like, like uh, adults that are going to the movies and watching Disney movies or going to the Disney at World? Disney, the adults no, at Disney. Adults who I know, yeah. thrive, who say that Disney is like 
the life. greatest place on earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will tell you this. I have never been to Disney World, and truthfully, I don't have the ambition to go because it just looks way overpriced. It's a uh, overpriced amusement park. It, and it's like, expensive. They make it yeah. seem like it's the greatest I don't think you'll thing like on it. the earth. If you don't, have if, you don't grow, don't know, if you don't grow up with it and have the memories, as it, it's, I mean, you'll still have fun, but not like when you're nine years old and you go there with your family. You want it's totally different. It brings back the nostalgia yeah. from when but, you were a kid. But like Eric, to your it. point, I am that person that never went my entire life. And, and first time I ever went to Disney in my whole life was 2016. Yeah, I went so, to Disneyland so for the didn't first get time. The full experience, like Kevin. So, if Kevin goes back, Kevin will be like, Oh, oh yeah, I remember this from my youth. Here and yeah, my but I, but I still locked in. I'm not a Disney too. adult. To mm-hmm. her point, but I still locked in, and I totally get it. Maybe because I was my Disney adult. You give that to your Disney adult You and I had a Disney adult. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at your Crocs. They have Disney Mickey on Mouse them. on them. They do? Uh, oh, because I had to buy them at Disney World, though. That's why. Uh, okay. mm-hmm. that's yeah. Right. Otherwise, I probably you wouldn't know about Crocs. I just think it's weird so the people that go for their honeymoon to Disney. Yeah, if you don't have well, kids and you're going there, well, they, they, get married? they get married there and gay. People get weird. married there. People do honeymoons yeah, there. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a... The, like you're uh, having your honeymoon night, and it's like, that's I'm going to defend the Disney you're adult that goes, Disney World? Yeah, listen, that's just weird. you're probably the only one. You're the only one. Think about it. Most nobody's doing it there except for the ones that are on their honeymoons. But I'm going to defend the Disney adults that go for the food and wine festival at Epcot. No, that's fun. I want us to do that as a show so bad. You guys are going to lose your marbles. Kevin will freak out. It is out. drinking around the world. Drinking around the world. People make t-shirts instead of the seven dwarves of the, like, dopey, grumpy, and doc. Drunky. It's lushy, Drunky yeah. and, and sick or whatever it is. It's, it's just kind of fun. So um, I'm going to go halfway on Disney Adult. Some really go overboard. Maybe I'm one. I don't know. Thanks for calling. I'm going to join that and wear that flag. You okay, can leave your flag. comments on the list line. 713-278-VENT.